Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Suncoast takes on Spanish River tonight on School Duel. to another episode of School Duel, where close to 60 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties competed to be part of the show. Now the top 20 schools made it to the televised rounds, where they battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And the winners walk away with a school trophy from EDCO, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. And continuing this season, each team advancing to the semifinals tonight qualifies for the National Academic Championship. Now details on this competition can be found online at qunlimited.com. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, this quarterfinal game features Suncoast High versus Spanish River High in what is going to be an interesting showdown. Now, the winner between the two schools will be moving on to the semifinals, so let's hear it for our two competitors. And don't forget, during the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A Challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Doesn't that sound deliciously amazing? Of course it does. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here at School Against School, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Now, each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, then the other school gets one chance to steal the points. All right, schools, it's that time. So prepare for the warning shot. First question starts with characters. Tchaikovsky wrote an 1880 overture fantasy about its two title characters. Name this Shakespeare play about two doomed teenage, yes, Karen? Uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yes, that's who we're looking for, good job. <laughs> Moving on to birds. It may be attracted to your garage door opener's red handle and end up stuck in the garage. It uses the nectar it gets from flowers and the Tucker? Hummingbird. That's what we're talking about. Good job. All right, spelling, meaning the ability to make good judgments and quick decisions, spell the word acumen. Yes, Jacob R. A-C-U-M-E-N. Excellent, good job. All right, literary terms. Examples of it include the tongue twister. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Joshua. Alliteration. Very good. All right, amendments, name any one freedom listed in the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment. Jacob R. Freedom of the press. Excellent, good job. <laughs> Moving along to energy. Because it produces 50% less energy than gasoline, cars that use it get, Jacob R. Natural gas. Incorrect, Suncoast. Because it produces 50% less energy than gasoline, cars that use it get fewer miles per gallon. But many farmers in Nebraska and Iowa like the current mandate to mix it with gasoline. Name this, yes, Jacob M? Ethanol. Very good, that's what we're looking for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time for the What Am I question, brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialties in Fort Lauderdale. Now, this is where our contestants will be given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. The first school to buzz in and, of course, answer correctly will then get the points. So is everyone ready? Yes? Yeah. All right, well, here it goes. Its opening in 1995 was attended by John Lennon's widow, Yoko Ono. Named this museum in Cleveland, Ohio, Yes, Cole? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes, sir, that's exactly what we're talking about. And since the museum's opening, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum has welcomed nearly eight million visitors from around the world. Let's move along to the next question, which deals with books. Give the title of the David McCulloch book about America's founding fathers that got its title from the year when the Declaration of Independence was signed, Cole? 1776. Yes, excellent job. 
Okay, let's go on to perimeters. What is the perimeter of a rectangle that has sides of four meters and seven meters? Cole? 22. Excellent. All right. Holidays, its religious observance is occasionally moved whenever it falls within a Catholic Holy Week. But its secular observance, Tucker? Easter. Incorrect, Spanish River. But its secular observance is never moved. Identify this annual March holiday that often features corned beef, cabbage, and green bear and marks the death date of the Irish clergyman for whom it is named. Jacob Barr. St. Patrick's Day. Correct, good job. Dinosaurs. The newest example of this animal is named Sophie and now stands at London's Natural History Museum with 85% of its skeleton intact. Identify this plant-eating dinosaur famed for the spears on the end of its tail and the huge plates that stood up Jacob R. Stegosaurus. Correct. Good job. Oh, there's my buzzer. And that means the end to the warning shot round. We do have Spanish River leading. They have 80 points. Suncoast has 30 points. But again, don't go anywhere because we're going to be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School Duel, the first round of action ended with Spanish River leading. They have 80 points. Suncoast has 30 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. And we're going to start with the Suncoast Chargers. Welcome. We have with us today Jacob M., who is a junior. Now, the question of the day, Jacob, is if there were a movie based on your life, what would the title of the movie be? Jacob and the Argonauts. Oh, very nice. And they look like they will gladly participate. All right, we have Tucker, who's a senior. Same thing for you. Uh, Tucker Everlasting. Oh, I like that. All right, we have Jordan right next to you. She's a senior. Jordan, your movie? Probably Salmon Fishing in the Jordan. Oh, interesting. And last but not least, we do have the captain of Suncoast's team. Her name is Karen, and she's a junior. Karen, what's the title of the movie based on your life? I would have to go with The Red Karen. Oh, very nice. All right. Well, welcome, and let's go ahead and meet their competitors. They are the Spanish River Sharks. Welcome. <laughs> let's start with Joshua. He's a junior. Joshua, if there were a movie based on the story of your life, what would the title of the movie be? It would have to be The Jawshank Redemption. <laughs> oh, very, very creative. All right, Cole's right next to you, and he's a junior. Cole? Uh, I would say Megamind. Very nice. And Jacob R. is a junior. I'm going to go with 12 years a student. Very <laughs> nice. All right. Very, very creative kids here. And the captain of Spanish River's team is Nicole. She's a senior. Go ahead. Take the floor. I would go with straight out of Boca. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All Oscar winners here. And now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Here, one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. The player that wins then gets three bonus questions with their school worth five, then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, it's time to joust. We will have Karen and Nicole 
start off with the first question. <laughs> Ladies, here's your toss-up question, and it's worth 10 points. What classic British novel's characters include Benjamin the Donkey, Boxer the Horse, and Napoleon? Yes, Karen? Animal Farm. Correct, good job. <laughs> Send post the following bonus questions deal with British literature. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Its characters include Mina Harker and Dr. Van Helsing. Name this novel about a nocturnal character, Karen? Uh, Dracula. Yes, excellent. Your second bonus question is worth 10 points. Written by Robert Louis Stevenson, its characters include Jim Hawkins and Long John Silver. Name the novel. Yes, Karen? Treasure Island. Good job. Your third bonus question, this one's worth 15 points. This Anna Sewell novel is about the life of a horse. Name it, Karen? Black Beauty. Excellent job, Karen. All right, Jordan, Jacob Bard, come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your top question, worth 10 points. He was the first Western artist whose biography was published while he was still alive, an indication of his mastery of architecture and painting. Name this Italian Renaissance maker of the famous sculpture, David. Yes, Jacob Bard. Michelangelo. Yes, sir. Excellent job. Spanish River, the following bonus questions all deal with architecture. Bonus question number one is worth five points. What is the name for the structure on which a statue may stand? Yes, Nicole. Pedestal. Excellent. Bonus question number two is 10 points. What is the name for the table-like structure in a Christian church that you might kneel at and upon which animals were often sacrificed? Cole? Altar. Very good. Now, your third bonus question is worth 15 points. What do you call the rock at the top of an arch that keeps the arch from falling down? Jacob? Rocky. No, we're looking for a keystone. Keystone is the answer. Cole Tucker, come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> All right, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In a plant cell, it is made of cellulose and helps the cell keep its shape. Yes, Tucker. Cell wall. Excellent, good job. We're right now with Sun Coast. And the following bonus questions all deal with biology. Name these cell organelles. Bonus question number one, worth five points. It produces energy through cellular, yes, Jacob? Mitochondria. Excellent, good job. Here's your second bonus question with 10 points. It stores waste products in water. Yes, Karen? A vacuole. Very good. Your third bonus question is worth 15 points. It synthesizes proteins. Yes, Karen? Uh, endoplasmic reticulum. No, ribosome is the answer. All right, Jacob, M and Joshua will come down. It's their turn to jump. Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Named from the Greek for green, what chemical gas is often used in liquid or solid form to kill germs in household bathrooms and swimming pools? Yes, Jacob. Chlorine. Excellent. Good job. All right, we're back with Sun and the following bonus questions all deal with words that came to English from Greek. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Name for a person who took part in athletic contest in 2014 in Sochi, Russia. Tucker. Olympian. Very good. All right, your second bonus question is worth 10 points. From Greek origin, name the general math term for a figure with many sides. Jacob M. Polygon. Good job. Here's your third bonus question. This one's worth 15 points. Name this term derived from Greek that literally means false name. Samuel Clemens' pen name is an Jordan? Pseudonym. Very good. All right. And we are done with the joust. We do have Suncoast now leading. They have 135 points. Spanish River has 105 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be back with more School Duel just after these messages. <laughs> Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. We love Magnet Program! From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. 
The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs. Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now, this quarterfinal match has Suncoast High competing against Spanish River High. Currently, Suncoast is leading with 135 points. Spanish River has 105 points. Now, we're ready for the rapid fire round. During this exciting round, the teams will receive a category of questions to answer within 60 seconds. Each question is worth 10 points, and if any questions are answered incorrectly, and the other school will have the opportunity to steal the points. Since Spanish River is trailing, they get to pick their category. And today's choices are double letters or four letter words. So which category would you like, Spanish River? We're gonna go with four letter words. All right, Nicole, sounds good to me. All right, schools, here comes the rapid fire. Spanish River, four letter words. In this category, each of the answers is a four letter word or name. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer each question, worth 10 points each. So let's cue music and begin. Another name for killer whale. Orca. Castle like chess piece. Rook. Cincinnati's baseball team. Reds. Back in black hard rock band. ACDC. Plant often used for sunburns. Aloe. Capital of Norway. Oslo. Poker pot starter. Ante. Double reed wind instrument. Oboe. Stephen King novel involving a violent rabid dog. Cujo. Position given to the fastest qualifying car race driver. Paul. Excellent job, Spanish River. You guys got through all your questions. You got them all correct. All right, Suncoast, it's your turn. Your category is double letters, Suncoast. In this category, the answer contains a word that includes double letters in it somewhere. Remember, you too have 60 seconds to answer these questions, which are worth 10 points each. So let's cue music and begin. You can bump, set, and spike in this sport. Volleyball. Capital of Pennsylvania. Harrisburg. TV show based in Dunder Mifflin. The Office. Extinct woolly elephant. Mammoth. High German language of Jewish origin. Yiddish. Homer Simpson's beer or Lizzie McGuire actress. Duff. It's under a cow but not a bull. Utter. A free form digital avatar used in Nintendo's Wii. Me. French fungal delicacy often dug up by. Truffle. Italian cousin of lawn bowling. Bocce. Excellent job, Suncuts. You guys got through all your questions and got them all correct as well. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings an end to the rapid fire round. We do have Suncoast leading. They have 235 points. Spanish River has 205 points, but don't go anywhere. We are going to take a short break and then we will be back for the final showdown to determine who moves on to the semifinals. <laughs> Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. 
Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School duel, and we've got a good quarterfinal match going as Suncoast is holding on to their lead over Spanish River. The current score is 235 to 205. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other again with toss up questions, but this time these questions, they're now worth 20 points. And remember, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, this is for a spot in the semifinals. It is now time for the final showdown. Your first question deals with the sun. Most of our sun is in what state of matter? Neither coal? Plasma. Novels. What classic adventure novel has a sequel in which its title character revisits the island where he spent years of his life and a group of cannibals kills the man? Karen? Robinson Crusoe. Europe. In 1890, what European city began its subway system, now commonly called the tube? Karen? London. Trees. The nut-like objects it grows are often called samaras. Name this popular tree whose species include paperback, Norway, Japanese, silver, tucker. Spanish River, I'll finish the question for you. Name this popular tree whose species include paperback, Norway, Japanese, silver, and sugar, and whose sap is often put on pancakes. Jacob. Maple. Multiple meanings. What word can mean both a set of material after the last chapter of a book and a small organ in your body that may, Jacob R? Appendix. Energy. During World War I, Germany used daylight savings time as a way to conserve what energy source that is dug out from mines and burned? Yes, Tucker. Coal. Sport terms. In basketball, give the two word term for what a player gets in a game where, yes, Karen? A free throw. Incorrect, Spanish River. What a player gets in a game where he has at least 10 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. Cole. Triple double. Music. In music, which male voice is lower than tenor but higher than Jacob R? Baritone. Measurements. How many ounces are in two pounds? Yes, Jacob M? 32. The alphabet. What is the 10th letter of the alphabet? Jacob M? L. Incorrect. Spanish River. Cole. K. Okay. Incorrect. It's J. Hawaii. In Hawaiian, its name means the gift that came here because it first reached Hawaii through Portuguese immigrants. Name this small stringed musical instrument that Jacob R. Ukulele. Yes, U.S. history. Name the founding father, ineligible to be president because of his birth in the British West Indies. Jacob R. Alexander Hamilton. Companies. This nationwide chain that owns Orange Julius celebrated its 75th anniversary in business. Joshua. Dairy Queen. Presidents, American composer Leonard Bernstein wrote a 1961 fanfare for what president's inauguration? Karen. John F. Kennedy. Substances, at standard temperature and pressure, it is the most stable form of carbon because its atoms are Tucker. Diamond. Incorrect, Spanish River Joshua. Carbon 12. We're looking for graphite, gentlemen. It's Shakespeare, what Shakespeare play includes the fairy Oberon as well as, yes, Karen. A Midsummer's Night Dream. Movies. This 1941 film was made partly as a biography of William Randolph Hearst. Name this Orson Welles movie often considered, Karen? Citizen Kane. The 60s. In which year during the 1960s did Joe Namath win the Super Bowl and Neil Jacob R? 65. Incorrect. Suncoast, yes, Jacob M. 69. Correct. Mythology. In mythology, what man joined with the Argonauts at the beginning of their journey? Yes, Tucker. Jason. Incorrect. Spanish River. In mythology, what man joined with the Argonauts at the beginning of their journey, but had to leave them to perform his 12 labors? He is known for his extreme strength. Cole. Hercules. 
metals. It is now widely used as a catalyst in both fuel cells and catalytic converters. Jacob R. Hydrogen. Incorrect. Suncoast Tucker. Platinum. Money math. For the first 30 years, a book's value decreases by half for each decade of its age. A book originally sells for $20. How much is it worth after 30, Jacob? $2.50. U.S. States, a lady in England recently died at age 114 who had been the last person in England still alive who was born while what monarch was the queen? Yes, Tucker. Queen Victoria. Major League Baseball, Bobby Cox managed them to 14 straight division titles but only one World Series ring. Name this National League Baseball team located in Georgia. Yes, Cole. Braves. Correct. Oh, there's a buzzer and that brings an end to this quarterfinal school zone match. Amazing game, too. They're ending with 405 points. Now, Suncoast, this win is putting you into the semi-finals. So congratulations. And great job to everyone. Now, this also brings us to an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll, please. Jacob R. from Spanish River. Congratulations on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Now, at this time, we'd like to thank you at home for watching. And, of course, thank you for all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Now, don't forget to check us out on our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out even more about all of the schools involved this year as well as vote on who you thought was the player of the week for today's game. And, of course, use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. But most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday night at 7 p.m. as Fort Lauderdale High takes on Cooper City High in the first semifinal match. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks again for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users.